is Mohit travels daily to his office situated 100 kilometers away. On one particular day, he travels the first half of his way, first half of his way at his usual speed. And after that, he had to stop for exactly 10 by 3 minutes due to a minor accident on the road. Now to make up for the lost time, remember to make up for the lost time meaning what? He doesn't want to reach late. He wants to reach at the same time. Although he has lost 10 by 3 minutes due to that accident, he wants to reach on time. He had to increase his speed. Yes or no? If you want to reach on time, even though the time has reduced, you have to obviously increase your speed. So he increased his speed by 10 kilometers per hour. Find the usual speed is the question. Find the usual speed in kilometers per hour with which Mohit travels to his office. So find the usual speed at which Mohit travels to his office. Right? At which Mohit travels to his office. Okay. Now, how do you solve this? One way is to kind of equate the time. Right? I mean, you know that the time difference is 10 by 3. Right? So you can say time in first case minus time in second case is equal to 10 by 3. What is time? Distance by speed. So you can do that. Uh, to get the answer, right? Let me explain that method to you, right? Like for example, see the total distance is 100 kilometers. What he has to cover is 100 kilometers. Total from, uh, let's say, home to office, right? Let's consider this is his home and this is his office. The total distance is 100 kilometers. But if you observe, on one particular day, he travels the first, of his, uh, first half of his way at his usual speed. So up to 50 kilometers, there was no problem. Up to this 50 kilometers, there was no problem. The problem came here at this point. He lost how much time here? At this point, he has lost 10 by 3 minutes. Yes or no? He has lost 10 by 3 minutes at that point due to accident. And that affected the remaining 50 kilometers. But because he wanted to reach the office on time, at the you know, without getting delayed, he increased the speed for the remaining 50 kilometers. You are getting it? So basically, if you see in the first half, in this half of his journey, the speed was S and the time was T. In the second half of the journey, if you look at this half, what happened? The speed increased by 10 kilometers per hour. The speed was now S plus 10. And the time reduced by 10 by 3 minutes. 10 by 3 minutes. Time, total time, initial time is T, let's say. The new time is T minus 10 by 3 minutes. That's what has happened. So the problem is not in the first half. The problem is in the second half of the journey, where the speed increased by 10 kilometers per hour and time reduced by 10 by 3 minutes. Now, how do you deal with it, right? How do you solve this? See, Equate the time, right? Look at only second half. Let's let's forget about the first half. Consider only the second half of the journey, right? Consider only the second half of the journey. Okay. So so we can say that uh, you know I like like for example initially let's say the uh, time taken in the second half of the half of the journey is. Um, I mean, I have taken S and T here. Yeah, so the point is, originally, if you observe, see, original case, what happens? The first half was traveled at S and T. Second half was also traveled at S and T. You getting it? If, if you understand, when there is no disturbance, the speed is S and the time is T. So initially, when he traveled 100 kilometers, he traveled the first half at S and T. The second half also at S and T. But after the accident, in the second half, he took speed as S plus 10 and time as T minus 10 by 3. So we are going to compare these two blocks now. Let me let me highlight what we are going to compare, right? Uh, we are comparing ST in the second half with S plus 10 and T minus 10 by 3 minutes in the second half, right? So what happens? Right, you, you know that... Uh, time in the first case minus time in the second case is equal to 10 by 3 minutes 10 by 3 minutes what is time distance by speed implies distance the so distance is 50 let's space <coughs> speed is s I mean, what is the distance here distance is speed i mean 50 only in the second half also the distance is same 50 kilometers only but speed is s plus 10 equals to 10 by 3 but this 10 by 3 has to be converted to hours why is it so? Because speed is in kilometers per hour. See, this is 10 kilometers per hour and the distance 50 is also in kilometers. So when the distance is in kilometers and speed is in kilometers per hour, time should always be in kilometers, per, time should always be in hours. So 10 by 3 minutes is being converted to hours. So 10 by 3 is being divided by 60. So that it gets converted to hours. 
only one equation one variable you have to solve for s he's asking us to find out the usual speed usual speed is nothing but s so solve for this equation you get the answer so what happens 50 can be taken common so we'll have 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 10 equals to this zeros get cancelled we'll have 1 by 18 here so when you simplify you'll get the value of s i mean there'll be one quadratic equation that you have to deal with right so solve that what happens you see s plus 10 minus s s plus 10 s plus 10 minus s divide by s into s plus 10 so 50 into s plus 10 minus s divided by s into s plus 10 equals to 1 by 18 so this plus s and minus s gets cancelled we'll have 500 into 18 right what is the equation i'm, I'm writing the equation on this side on the left hand side we'll have uh, 50 into 10 into 18 equals to s into s plus 10 now this is a quadratic equation solve for this quadratic equation to get the value of s instead of solving for the equation because options have been given to us you better substitute the options and see what's the answer you're able to follow substitute the options can you substitute 50 here substitute 50 what happens so 50 into 60 if you substitute 50 this becomes 50 into 60 50 into 60 is 3000 here we have 500 into 18 which is 9000 so does not satisfy option one does not satisfy can you substitute 69 no 16 see remember the left hand side is ending in zero 500 into 18 is 9000 right it ends with 0 so right hand side should also end with 0 69 into 70 of course 69 into 70 also ends with uh, 69 into 79 sorry if s is equal to 69 this will be 69 into 79 will that end with 0 69 into 79 no so it gets eliminated substitute option 3 70 70 into 80 70 into 80 is 5600 what we want is 9000 so third option also gets eliminated substitute 80 80 if s is 80 80 into 80 plus 10 90 80 into 90 7200 but what we have on the left hand side is 9000 so option 4 also gets eliminated hence option 5 will be the correct answer right if you substitute s equals to 90 90 into 100 yes or no s plus 10 90 plus 10 is 100 90 into 100 is 9000 so left hand side 9000 right hand side 9000 balanced so option 5 is the answer so the point that i'm trying to make is even if you have equated using time to solve this do not try to solve the quadratic equation because you'll always have the options just substitute the options and see which one satisfies because solving this quadratic equation will take another 10 15 seconds why do you want to waste your time do very quick verification right easy to verify left hand side is 9000 500 into 80 9000 right hand side should also be 9000 option 1 2 3 4 does not satisfy that hence option 5 is the answer all right so this is how you solve it by equating time but then let's look at a smarter way of solving this question now if you remember the various models that we have discussed in time and distance there was one question where we have talked about you know a person a, a student going from his home to his school so on one day when he travels at a particular speed he reaches 10 minutes early on the other day when he travels at some other speed he reaches you know uh, some uh, eight minutes late so 10 minutes early eight minutes late and all that and we have discussed a shortcut formula there the same shortcut formula can also be used in this question to arrive at the answer so you can go back to your time and distance video and uh, you know look at that uh, model that i'm talking about let me just give you the shortcut formula so there we have to find out the distance between his home and his house and i'll kind of give you a idea clear idea about what the question is the question goes as follows a student goes from his home to his school every day so on the first day when he travels at some speed s1 when he travels at s1 he reaches let's say x minutes late second day when he travels at x2 he reaches y minutes early based on this data we have to find out the distance distance is equal to what was the question you're able to follow when he travels at one speed, he reaches x minute late. When he travels at the other speed, he reaches y minutes early. The question is find out the distance. Find out the distance between his home and his house. We have discussed the same model there. You know, we different, uh, find out the difference between the time and get the answer. But then there is a shortcut formula that we discuss. Shortcut formula D, I mean shortcut formula says the distance D will be equal to delta T, the difference in times, delta T into S1 into S2 divided by S1 difference S2. The same shortcut formula can be used here to get the answer. Are you able to follow? The shortcut formula there was distance D can always be calculated as uh, delta T into S1 into S2 divided by S1 and S2. Now what are S1 and S2? These are the speeds, the two different speeds that are given in the question. S1, S2, S1 difference S2. What is delta T? Delta T is the difference of the times. So X minutes late and Y minutes early, delta T will come out to be X plus Y. I am not going into the details, you can refer the video for that. Now if you look at this question, already most of the values are given to us see understand 
he had to stop for exactly 10 by 3 minutes means what the delta of time let me highlight the delta of time is equal to 10 by 3 minutes you understand this 10 by 3 minutes is nothing but delta t this 10 by 3 is nothing but delta t because how much of time difference that he has got uh, that has been created it has been 10 by 3 minutes that's what is delta t now we don't know what is s1 and s2 but the one thing that we know here is that uh, the difference of s1 and s2 is 10 kilometers per hour s1 difference s2 is 10 kilometers per hour because he increased his speed by 10 kilometers he increases speed by 10 kilometers that means s1 difference s2 is going to be 10 kilometers only what is s1 s2 we don't know but s1 can be taken as s s2 can be taken as s plus 10 yes or no if s1 is s s2 should be s plus 10 because he increases speed by 10 kilometers per hour s1 difference s2 will be 10 anyway and what is d let me highlight the d uh, part for you right what is d let me show that the distance d is nothing but half of 50 kilometers half of 100 kilometers i mean see understand on one particular day, he travels the first half of his way at the usual speed. The problem comes after that. What is the distance after that? It is 100 by 2. Are you able to follow? The distance after that is 100 by 2. So, you should take it as 100 by 2, which is equal to 50. Like what we have done here, right? We are only dealing with 50. We are not dealing with the total distance. Because there is no problem in the first half. The problem is in the second half. Right? The problem is in the second half. So, distance for you should be 50 kilometers. So substitute that now what happens we will get what let me explain the solution right 50 is equal to delta t 10 by 3 but 10 by 3 should be converted to hours so it becomes 1 by 18 same 10 by 3 into 1 by 60 10 by 3 into 1 by 60 into s into s plus 10 divided by 10 same equation whatever we have done here the same thing we get here because this is like uh, 1 by 18 this 10 and 18 gets multiplied here. So what do we get? 50 into 3 into 6, 18 goes on the other side. 10 also goes there. Equals to S into S plus 10. Observe, if you observe, both the equations are same. Look at this equation. I'm just trying to highlight the two equations to show you that both of these equations are same. Look at this. What did we get? 15 to 18 into 10 equals to s into s plus 10. What did we get here? 15 to 10 into 18 is equals to s into s plus 10. So whether you follow this method where we are balancing time or you follow the shortcut formula, you get the same answer. But then this is a smart approach in my view. Right? And don't try to solve the quadratic equation. Here again, substitute the values from the options and see which option satisfies, like what we have done in the earlier case.